hello welcome to our first lesson on second order pd okay that is second order partial differential equation so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe for more videos in this video will go through how to classify second order pd either as an ellipse hyperbola or parabolic okay now let's see um, if i have second order pd like this okay now i want to classify it you see that it's taken to is is in two different ways okay so this that i'm coming to teach you here is the first way okay so the first way having this we have this as a general um, partial differential equation in second order then to classify that i have to find what you call the discriminants okay and the discriminant is given as b squared minus 4 ac okay so you, if you find this then you classify them based on the values we get here i hope you get this so in the first place let me add a page here and then talk about it so what i just said we're coming to name or classify them based on the results we get here okay so if one is b squared let me use the red pen is b squared minus 4 ac here is less than zero using this as a b square minus 4 ac if this is less than zero then we have an elliptic okay so it's ellipse or you can call it elliptic or something like that okay elliptic or ellipse anyhow you want to call it so like that okay so we can call it elliptic or let me put it like ellipse okay now if b squared minus 4 ac is equal to zero then we have what we call parabolic or parabola okay parabolic okay and if um b squared minus 4 ac is greater than zero then we have what we call hyperbolic okay all right so these are the classification we'll do when we are using this as a general equation that is using the b square minus 4 ac other books use otherwise okay so let's go and look at what other books also use now other books also consider a general solution to be like this okay sorry the general equation to be a11 uxs plus 2a12 uxy like that okay and so what we use to describe this or classify this is you find a matrix a which is equal to i'm just writing it a11 a12 a12 a22 okay now if you consider with this general solution or general equation you can see that a11 is simply here attached to uxs a1 a22 is also attached to what uyy but what is our a12 a12 is not in but we have two a12 so you set two a12 okay equals something then you divide by two okay so if you divide this by two you get a12 and it's the same as this side and this side okay that is why i just wrote them there like that okay so now with this after that you find the determinant of this a this matrix a okay but always keep this in mind sometimes it skips people know that the one that is in front of u x y is if you want to find your a one two then you have to divide by two okay so from this general equation so after taking the matrix then we find the determinant of this matrix okay determinant of a okay and now we will describe the pd or the second order pd based on the determinant of our a 
okay so let's go ahead and then write a description there so if determinant or debt of a is less than zero okay then what do we have this in this case is hyperbolic i hope you understand this this and the previous one they are different okay but no matter what you do you get the same answers if debt of or determinant of a is equal to zero the same thing as the other one this is parabolic okay now if debt of a is also greater than zero then you have elliptic okay so know the difference stick to one of them if you want to go by this the determinant formula fine no problem just stick to it if you also want to go by this discriminant problem go by that one as well okay so you can choose to follow this one this whole thing here that i have here okay or you can choose to follow the other one that is why i've opened this for you so that you can copy this down and just take to one of them okay this one is also here you can copy this one down as well and also study them stick to one of them please and don't use them interchangeably okay all right so i have this you are supposed to classify this okay this and this now i'll stick one to one of them and i'll let you to do the other on your own if, if you want to do okay so we actually i stick to the b square minus 4 ac because it's very simple for you there's no need for me to go and divide something by two so i normally stick to that one okay so what you have to do is just compare this to the general equation a u x x plus b u x y okay plus c u y y plus d u x plus e u y plus f u okay plus f u should be equal to zero now you are saying that we come to find what we call the b square or the discriminant okay b square minus for ac okay so with the first one let's see you are using the b squared minus 4 ac comparing the first one with this general equation we see that our a is equal to what one and our b is equal to negative three comparing it to this one this whole general equation now b squared minus 4 ac there is no c here c is zero okay so c here is equal to zero so let's go to the next page and just find that we say a is one b is negative three c is zero so you have b squared minus four ac is equal to here b is negative three so you square it a is what one okay and c is zero so i have nine which is greater than zero okay i'm using b square minus four ac and then we say that if the b square minus four ac if b square minus four ac is greater than zero then you have what hyperbolic so this equation is hyperbolic okay that is the first one let me number it okay so if you go to this first one this equation is hyperbolic now comparing this one the second one with the general equation you can see that a is also equal to three b is equal to negative six c is equal to three that is all we need okay so you go a is three b is negative six c is three so you go and solve for b squared minus four ac and this should be equal to b is negative six so i have negative six squared minus four into three times three and this will give me what 36 minus 36 okay 4 3 12 times 3 is 36 so this squared is also 36 36 minus 36 that is 0 okay now since this is equal to 0 we say that 
since b squared minus 4 ac here in this is equal to zero then we have parabolic parabolic equation okay now i go to the third one so let's go ahead and write for the third one for the third one there's no space here so i'll just go ahead and write it somewhere but you know that a is this which is two uh, b is two now c is three okay so a is two b is two c is three so I have b squared minus four ac here being equal to now b was two okay so i have two squared minus four a is two and c is three and this is equal to what have four minus something Automatically, this will be less than zero. You have four minus twenty-four, and that is negative twenty. Okay, so it's four minus four to eight times three, which is twenty-four. So four minus twenty-four, I have negative twenty. And you're saying here it is less than zero. Okay, so I have my b squared minus four ac in here being less than zero. We have what you call the ellipse, ellipse, elliptics. Okay. This is very very simple. Okay, so we just stick to one. I just stick to the b square minus four ac. I you know when this is less than zero, you have ellipt elliptic. When it's equal to zero, you have parabolic. And when it is greater than zero, you have hyperbolic. Okay. So thank you. And also, I want you to go through these these descriptions. Okay, with the help of this one, the determinants. Okay, use the determinants from this one to discuss the description of it so if you don't remember this is how the determinant is being written okay so use this to solve the questions given okay these ones and you see that you come to the same conclusion all right so in our next discussion we'll talk about the solution to second order pds such as something like this ux x plus let's say ux plus u equals zero so we discuss these we we'll discuss something like u x x mm, let me put it okay something like is equal to zero we'll discuss something like u x plus u x y is equal to zero or something depending on what we are doing okay and we'll discuss um something like the general one a u x x plus b u x y plus c u i y plus D U X plus E U Y plus F U should be equal to something F of X Y. We'll discuss these as well. So just stay tuned and subscribe for more videos on the second order so that we complete the whole second order PD together. Okay. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.